Hello and welcome to my video. Uh, this is to explain what I'm on about. It's, it's basically, I won't go as far as to call it an invention because really it's two simple entities just mashed together. The end game is to remove aerosol. And our aerosol has been in sharp focus during this COVID lockdown crisis. Um, a lot of people are very concerned and everybody's covering everything in plastic, including themselves. I honestly cannot guarantee that this device this will, will be a replacement for personal protective equipment at all, nor will it be a substitute for good infection control protocols. But, I mean, from what you can see, it's doing a really good job of uh, removing the aerosol from the scaler. What you can't see on the angle of this video is this uh, aerosol is 20 to 40 millimeters below the level of that chalice. And even if I take it to the uh, corners of the mouth, it's still just removing everything and sending it where it belongs. Obviously, 100% effectivity cannot be guaranteed. I mean, even, even if you're connected to a substantial vacuum producing entity it will not uh, you know, I mean you can't guarantee it. so that's why I'm saying it is it's no replacement for personal protective equipment. The next thing I want to discuss is the um, originality of the idea. I arrived to this thing all for my own so I did not commit plagiarism or infringement copyrights. But I did due diligence I checked all the most of the online databases that's available to see if there was a conflict of intellectual property. The world is in lockdown. I realized that there might be a, a similar thing somewhere else. Somebody's trying to file, but, but really, uh, I think I'm right in saying that this lockdown is a little bigger than that. So. I've gone all open source, I'm going to publish the STL file for download so that whoever can go ahead and make it themselves. It's not intended for a hobby grade filament fused deposition modeling type 3D printer. This needs a resin STL printer, a, stereoth a stereolithographic printer. To, uh, similar to the ones that's used by dental technicians all over. And hopefully this would also provide something to keep the technicians busy for a bit. It's going to require quite a large build volume and quite a large, I, am, I could imagine, quite a large amount of resin as well. Type of resin, preferably if you can get your hands on something that is heat resistant something that's already approved by your country's governing body for use in healthcare as an extra oral device. This device doesn't touch the skin. It's not supposed to touch the skin and it's extra oral. And obviously heat resistant, so you can chuck it in the autoclave after a patient. Um, that would be ideal. Change of background, sorry. It's gonna happen a couple of times I'm trying to do this in between patients. Uh, there's going to be questions, you know, with the normal uh, resin we use be sufficient for this and the answer to that would be, yeah, but the thing that every technician has been telling me every time you ask about it is that these aren't, the resin and this aren't supposed to be autoclaved. Uh, their point of view is it's, it will lose its accuracy. Well, we don't really need a terrible lot of accuracy in, in, in something like this. But, I mean, at the same time, I don't want to tell you to sterilize dental resin and then your autoclave stops working because something exploded inside, I don't know. But but um, if you're going to go down the route of dental model resins, uh, rather use cold sterilization techniques instead of heat-based techniques. The model is drafted by myself using self-taught skills. Uh, I'm no draftsman, I've got a working knowledge of, of, of how machine drawings and things works. And um, what I have 
built into it is a shape that provides the least amount of print supports possible. So the STL printers, they like to rise their models out of the liquid resin and with a shape like this, they are going to be supports. However, I pulled it off, I think, to just create support on the uh, bit that goes onto the printing table. Now, this is a prototype printed with FDM PLA filament. And again, I emphasize, don't take one of these to a patient like I have done. Um, the guy that printed it for me said it was literally, he, he, he reached into the printer and he took it out and the support stayed behind in there. So I believe that this is correctly set up for minimal support and minimal sharp edges that do, you know, poke and hurt somebody. There are sharp edges, obviously, on the other side to keep the rubber dam in place. Another thing I have to emphasize is we need a solid print. Not only for strength, but also if you're going to have a hollow volume inside an object and you put that in an autoclave if you print yours in, in, in a heat resistant reason. Uh, no, I have no idea what's going to happen. I, I can imagine that is a, a bad thing. And at the same time, I don't recommend that if you still insist on going hollows that you put holes in it either because, I mean, holes, it's not good for infection control. So even though it's going to add to the weight, I, 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 I would say a solid model, please don't, don't print it hollow to save resin. To the top of the screen is a connector, it's hidden from view again by the video angle, but that would be a flexible hose that you can source from any hardware store that connects to the high volume suction. But more on that in the uh, instruction video. Lastly, I've spent hours and hours drafting this, I've um, done quite a lot of, of test prints as well. And that's why I'm charging a small fee for the initial download. However, once you've downloaded, you're welcome to print as many as you feel you need. You're also welcome to print and sell if you're a technician or think you can, can make a substantial amount of them and send them to your dentist. Um, you're welcome to do that. What I'm just going to ask is please don't just willy-nilly forward this STL all over the internet. Um, I mean, the, the initial download cost is really, uh, is, is really not that big. This idea is not intended for mass production. It's not for a big company to just simply take it and make it at their own gain and sell it to the dental community at heavily inflated prices. It's for via de dentist for dentists. Um, an effort to help us through this difficult time. So uh, please use this data with, with, with discretion in that regard. Lastly, best of luck for the time ahead. It's going to be a difficult time. Wish you all the best. Take care of yourself, take care of your health, take care of your patients. And remember to try and stay positive. We're going to have to put up really, really broad smiles to appear friendly through all that uh, PPE layers and gear and all that. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.